Greetings everyone. Today we want to show PDF.ID version 4.0, the latest version of PDF.ID which converts PDF and Windows XPS files to editable InDesign files. As all of you are well aware, PDF.ID has been around for six years and used by many companies and individuals as the tool of choice for converting PDFs and XPS files to InDesign format. PDF.ID version 4.0 has been enhanced so that it operates with InDesign Creative Cloud and is now a native 64-bit technology. PDF.ID is a plugin for InDesign. Once it's installed, you see the Reposoft menu within InDesign. To convert a PDF file, we simply select the PDF.ID convert PDF slash XPS file command. A window appears and we get to select a PDF or XPS file to convert. So let's just select a file to convert. Select this file over here, then click open. PDF.ID first inspects the file they're trying to convert, and it finds any fonts that were used in the PDF that couldn't match against what you have in your system. It provides this little tip over here. Let's just click OK at present to dismiss it. The main PDF.ID options window appears now. You can set a lot of options here. And you can fine-tune your conversions and tailor your workflow using the PDF.ID options window. But in most cases, the default settings simply work. Now, if you remember, PDF.ID initially popped up a little tip with respect to fonts that it couldn't match. To achieve the best conversion, you want to substitute fonts that couldn't be matched. So let's just go to the font substitution panel and uh, you get to choose the fonts that weren't matched. Now, as I've already matched my fonts, PDF.ID remembers all substitutions that I've made and it stores them into a library called a type trace library. That way, you don't have to repeat any of these substitutions again. So let's just click OK to convert the file. And let's observe the converted result against the original PDF file. Now notice this is a 15 or 14 page PDF file and it's converting extremely fast using PDF-ID version 4.0 and it's actually just converted the file. Let's compare this with the original Adobe, and Adobe PDF file. So here's the PDF file that it converted. You notice that the layout has been well preserved. You also notice that paragraphs are formed right over there. There's a par paragraphs are formed. Frames are linked over there. You also notice that images and vector graphics are all native InDesign elements. So you have an image over here, it's a native InDesign element. We have vector graphics here, these are all native InDesign elements right over there. So you can pretty much do anything you want to. Let's just scroll down a few more pages and observe the formatting accuracy. Again, let's just scroll down this document over here and let's compare it. The layout is again, you notice that it's very well preserved. Uh, you'll also notice that PDF.ID preserves properties such as clipping path. There's a clipping path actually applied to this image right there, and PDF.ID actually preserved it. And the text over here, which are next to each other, these are all these are linked. So PDF.ID goes to this extent of linking text frames across columns. Checking the links panel, we notice that the image resolutions, so let's just grow this a little bit, have been maintained, and so are the color spaces. You also, under, you also notice that PDF.ID has done an extremely good job in preserving the layout so that you, d you have to tweak the document very little. Let's just check one more thing using InDesign. Let's check the interactive properties, but basically the hyperlinks. And you'll notice that PDF.ID went and recovered the hyperlinks. And if there were bookmarks, it would recover the bookmarks also. All of this automatically. So PDF.ID version 4.0 now supports InDesign Creative Cloud, enabling you to edit the contents of a PDF file in InDesign easily, allowing you to automate your workflow and enhancing productivity. PDF to ID has been engineered and developed by Microsoft 
For more information, please visit us at www.reposhop.com. That's www.reposhop.com. Thank you.